Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. I have another one for you today. Now, this is going to be kind of interesting as well. I want you to understand, ladies, why men are trying to avoid single mothers. And I want this to be a warning to the men who are attempting to pursue single mothers. And this is not bashing women. But you got to understand this. I'm going to show, show you an example of a woman that is in love with her new man to the point that she allows her new man to shoot at the father of her child and begs him not to file charges because she wants the man more than a child and actually tells him to get the child, keep the child, just let me have my pookie. Now let's go ahead and get to it. Let you see for yourself and hear for yourself. Dude came and shot my motherfucking house up with my son inside. And my baby mama tell me not to fucking press charges? Dog, listen to this voicemail. She just fucking left me, y'all. Why the fuck would you fucking call the police on my boyfriend? You know he fucking shot your house up because you took my damn son without my permission. That's why he did that. So you, I just hope you don't. Defending her new man because he shot out, shut up this man's house where it was other family members inside the house. This is not his business anyway. Why would he shoot your house up? That's, that's between the baby mama and all the stuff like that and that man. But he took it upon himself to be a violent in individual. And this is the man that this woman chooses to be with. Now listen to this as she begs this man to not file charges. That's why he did that. So you, I just hope you don't press charges because I don't want him to be in jail because of my bullshit with you. They just arrested him this damn morning. Like, I don't have time for this shit. Like, you can get your son. You can have full custody of your son. Just don't press charges on my dude because I want him. You can get your child. You can have your son. Take the baby. I don't want the baby as much as I want the man that shot up your house. I don't want my child. I want this man. I love this man more than the child that came out of my womb. That's your child. I don't want that kid that came from me. Just let me keep the violent man in my life. To have full custody of your son. Just don't press her on my dude because I want him out. I don't want to deal with that. I don't want him to be locked away. No, that's not fair because of my bullshit with you. No, you can get your son if you want him. I don't care. Just don't press charges on my dude because I don't want him to go to jail. There you have a woman, excuse me. You have a woman who defends the crazy actions of a violent man. Now, can you imagine what that child was going through, living with that particular mother who lives with that particular man? No telling what was to happen to that boy. See, that's women love now is not as natural as it used to be. Women now is all about themselves, certain women. And it's sad, it's tragic. Now, this is one of the warnings I want to show you about pursuing baby mothers who are not married. Here's another one. One sec, I gotta make sure you get on the screen. He has no, he has no right, dude. Yo, he said he put his hands on him. He has a right. He does. He and his father, as you do. He and his father. He is his stepfather. Okay, he got every right. But that is our son. Wait, wait, wait. Back up. Back up. No, that is our son, not his son. No, you're not gonna come inside my house and tell me how to raise my son with my husband. You decided you didn't want this family. So now he stepped in and he's going to do his part. What have what? Now that's what you have to think about too, gentlemen. You could be a good man who plays the role of the stepfather, but you may have to deal with the stepfather who does not agree with the way that you are rearing his children, which means he might do pop-ups at your house, which means he might confront you, disrespect you. Y'all might have a fight. See, this is too much stress. Too much stress. And women, you know if you got the type of man that hides in the bushes and watch you and all this other stuff. This is why I'm saying it's a warning to gentlemen out there. If you can, don't get a single mother, man. If you choose to, you need to vet her properly. You need to understand her relationship with her baby daddy and everyone else. Or you might be the next guy who gets shot at. So now he stepped in and he's going to do his part. What have, what's the problem? No, what's the problem? He need to consult that with me first. No, he, he does, does not. not. I give him no he permission. He didn't marry you. No, but still, he I don't did care. not marry you. I don't care. That's and if my he, son, he is our son. No, he needs to talk to me about that. Listen, wait, you keep walking up on me. Let me explain something to you. You left. You remember that? This man stepped in, took your son, and raised him as his own. So when he gets fly in the mouth, 
he can get that mouth checked, okay? Yeah, but if he's gonna if he don't get the mouth checked, it's gonna be me checking it, not him. So he, he gotta he, wait he, till yeah. you come around on Wednesdays and Saturday. No, sir. I don't care. He's, he, he needs to consult that with me. Him, it had to be dealt with right then and right there. And why do you have your phone in my face? Because this because you, you know why I got in your face? Because it's time for me to expose you and him. Because this right here is just ridiculous. All right? No, 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 no. Got you gotta go. You gotta go. I'm going to say this. If a man is foolish enough to um, do that and get in that situation, man, if you are going to uh, take over another man's responsibility, which is his children or child, I do agree that the stepfather should have full control as far as disciplining a child. He should have no problems or no issue whooping that child, meaning not physical abuse, but, you know, getting on the child when he get out of hand. I, I agree that he should do If he's doing everything else, if he's taking care of that child, feeding that child, clothing that child, um, going to that child's sports events, um, paying for the things that he needs to get into sports, stuff like that. He should have complete control, meaning that he should be able to discipline the child. You know what I mean? So that's, I'm saying that's a lot of stuff you're going to be dealing with, ladies and gentlemen, when you deal with certain women who are single mothers who have these type of men in their lives remaining. It's too much stress. I've been through this before. I'm not just talking because I'm watching the video. I've been through that. And I'm going to tell you something, man. It could be hell, man. It can be hell because you will always feel that there is someone else in a relationship. It would never just be you and her and that child. It would be you, her, that child, and the baby daddy or baby daddies, depending on who she is or what she has done in her life. I go. No, I ain't leaving. Well, I ain't leaving because we ain't done. Because what is he doing? What's he doing putting his hands on him? Let me explain something to because you. Because he put his hands on him, it's going to be in our instant. It's going to be well, an issue did. with just, he with just him did. and, and with I gave him the permission to do so. It's going to be an issue so. with me and him. I gave him the permission to do so. Well, you should have talked to me about that. I don't have to talk to you. Yes, you do, because that is our son. Not you and his son, our son. You know what I'm going to do? We'll take y'all to court. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Take us to court? Yeah, we'll take y'all to court. What do you mean, take us to court? Because take us where if you want to take us to court, you cannot. Yeah, watch me. You're in my house telling me how to raise my son, but I'm disrespectful. You gotta go. Let's yeah. go. No, I ain't going because I ain't done with you. I know you better move back. That's what I know. And I know you better go out of that door quickly. Or else Excuse what? me. No, no. I ain't going nowhere. And then you got me all on the camera with your little yeah, funny you're right, I got friend you on the camera. judging me, and they don't even know. Anything about me? Yes, yeah, I'm exposing you and him. You're all not over exposing the anything. You just exposing that you're a dick number one. That's what you're. Oh, oh, oh I'm gonna allow to see my son two days a week. And I'm a why is that? that? And I want to see him more than two days. A week. Why is a that? Week. Well, that's because that was y'all decided to take me to court. Well, you decided to take me to court. And you guys could have worked it out. You know what? We could have worked it out. Yeah, if you didn't want to see him now because somebody else is in the picture. You want to come and play daddy? No, sir, free, Bob. Go away. So whatever you want to do, do it. Watch me. But today and right, right now, now, you can go out that door. I ain't going out this door. You can go out on your own, or I can help you out. Uh -huh. What do you want to do? Hey, go help me out. Wait, you going to call him? Have him escort me out? You doggone right. Well, then break it. See, that's what I'm talking about. This is how women are masters at turning men against men. Men who don't, who don't even know each other. See, the other man come in the house, don't even know what's going on. And she just said, there's a man over here. He needs to get out of here. And now they fighting. Someone could lose their life. There needs to be more communication between all three of them. There needs to be boundaries set, perimeters set. And they got to be some just good old fashioned sit down talking. Because this can easily this can easily escalate into a violent situation. Gentlemen, you are taking risk when you get involved with single mothers. And I'm not putting them down, but ladies, you know this. You make it hard for yourself. Just do. Get out of here. Just go. You're wrong, and you know it. And you trying to have people back you up and sign up. To get, get, get out of here. Go. No, no, on. no. You know what? I'm going to take you all to court. Why? I don't care. And you know what? If a court, you know what? My dad about to I don't care. No, I'm about to get ready to tell everybody care. this. Tell so y'all see, right? see her, I'll tell you what. Y'all see her? I'm going to say it right in front of this camera because my battery about to be dying. Y'all, do not, and I repeat, do not ever trust your baby mama's husband. Well, you've seen it for yourselves, man. It's crazy, isn't it?
you let me know what you think about this you know um it's a risk man it, it's really just a risk um even if you're a good-hearted dude and stuff like that it's always going to be a risk to that taking on another man's responsibility is not always the easiest thing to do you have to deal with the fact that you're going to be um dealing with scenarios to where you can get harmed that there won't be no peace in that relationship that you're dealing with and you gotta how do you get past that raising another man's child and then you always have to worry about stuff worry about um things happening to you well you let me know what you think about this in the comments man <laughs>